What up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's DJ and I've got some more booster pack art sets to show. I'm this close to finishing Sun and Moon booster arts. Um, can't wait to show you guys that collection. And I'm opening up a few packs and a deck box, I think, but yeah. And guys, if you haven't entered the Pokemon booster box giveaway on this channel, make sure you do check that video out. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Yet, look at what we got today. Radio guys, so we have some art sets to show today. And we're gonna crack open this Forbidden Light deck, build and battle deck box thing. Um, it's got four booster packs, so I am hoping that the four packs is gonna be the art set that I need. But before we crack into that, let's show some of the loose packs that I already have. Here is a Sun and Moon base set, so Galio, whatever you want to call him, Lion King boy. Um, he was the last piece to my puzzle. I had the other four art set. I have shown it on the channel before. Um, the video should look something like that. And um, yeah, it just really threw me off because this is the only art set that had five booster packs that go in it, not just this one. So um, yeah. So I got that, that was like four bucks. Not bad. Um, next up we have Generations art set. So I'll show you each one. Generations is a beautiful set. It's got 83 cards in the set, 32 secret rare, which is actually 32 um, of a subset, which I can show you some examples of in just a second. Check out that Charizard, Generations, and you got Blastoise. The artworks on these, this is, uh, I think it came out 2016, and this set was the 20th anniversary of Pokemon. They had a few other collection boxes to go with it. These are the booster packs for it. And obviously they tried to, you know, because it was an anniversary, they had the big three there, and they just chucked in a Pikachu as the fourth art set because that's what Ash's Pokemon was like. Um, small set, but a good one. Um, the really cute set in Japan is the subset in English. So I've got a few cards that I want to show you. Here is Charmander, and you can tell if it's really cute based on this, what it says down here, RC3, RC32, so it's out of 32, and this is um, Charmander. And you're going to see a theme here, see the boy there running to chase his glasses with the Charmander, and um, there's a bit of a thing over there, symbols, and then we see Charmeleon, same thing, the boy is a bit older with his Charmeleon, that is so cool how they do that, and as you can see there, that's part of the subset, 32, um, and then you got those symbols there, so over here the symbols have changed, it's grown uh, an extra heart, love heart, and this one's just a thing, so um, it's a generational thing, That that's the set, yeah, generations. And then here's the Charizard. As you can see, it's grown. The boy is a man now, and it's obviously from that set. So those are what the cards look like. Really cute. <laughs> In Japan, RC stands for really cute. So you got the boy, you got the teenager, then you got the man grown up generational, and the Pokemon grown up, Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard. Really cool. Here's some of the other two um, really cool cards from that set, Generations. So you got that Full Art Pikachu and that Sylveon EX. And it's got all those symbols on the side as you can see. The, it's just beautiful art, this Full Art as well. Pretty sure I pulled these both on the channel as well, ages back, probably last year. But really nice cards. Definitely a set worth collecting or even investing in some of the sealed stuff because they have gone up in price. That is the art set, finally going into my booster art collection. This is not Sun and Moon, this is X and Y series. So, yeah, I know I've dibble dabbled into other sets, but nevertheless. Here is Ultra Prism, something really hard to find in this day and age, surprisingly. Ultra Prism was a set um, that had a limited print run, I, I believe. It was Sun and Moon, and that is why these have shot up in value, especially booster boxes. Um, 
I was lucky enough to find this art set because it was extremely hard to find. Um, it took me ages, it took me weeks to find it. Um, and it was just luck, luck of the draw, someone was selling it. And then I just bought it and eventually, I think the other day I saw another art set for sale. So um, they are creeping out. A booster box goes for about 400 to 450 for Ultra Prism. And you know, when people say you can't invest into modern product, I find that a little bit silly because something like this, you know, if you got in early enough and you bought a booster box, it would have cost you a hundred bucks, hundred and twenty dollars Australian, and now you can't find one for under four hundred. So, and this came out like I don't know, a couple years back. So not, it's not even that old. Um, some of the the good pulls from this is the Gold Lunala and the Gold Sogalio GX. Uh, I should have pictures up there already. And the set is 156 big or long or whatever you want to say and 17 secret rares. So you're going to see a lot of secret rares in the, uh, the modern set. Yeah. So quite a big set. Um, but yeah, art sets, eh, it's not too bad. The Leafeon probably takes the cake out of all those. Um, next up, we got Forbidden Light, the deck box, and I am hoping for an art set out of here we'll open it up we'll see everything else that's inside it and if I don't get the art set I'm guess I'm gonna have to buy another one uh, Forbidden Light is also one of the hard sets to find as in booster art set especially in Australia um, it just wasn't that popular so not many people has it like have it so I asked quite a few of my connections bro on Facebook and um, None of them had any loose packs or anything like that, or some had not a complete set. And it's just easier to buy a complete set. So this is what the deck box looks like. This usually comes out before the set is released. It's a pre-release deck box. So this is what comes with it. You can pause it if you want to read. As I said, it wasn't a popular set. Not many people had it. We're gonna crack this open. It has the uh, promo card there. Sign them in promo 117. And if you're collecting promo cards, there is a lot of promo cards here. I'll show you that code card in a sec, but let's hope we have an art set here. So, Forbidden Light, we got Zygarde at the front. Ah, I'm gonna have to buy another one. Another Zygarde. Um, yeah, we got that guy and that guy. So I am missing one art, and damn, the condition of these. I mean, yeah. <laughs> damn, that's a little bit disappointing. Of course, I'm gonna have to buy another one to get this. Don't know what I'm missing. I'll post it up here, a picture of what I'm missing, but definitely, um, maybe I'll open up one pack, one one of these side guards, because I don't need one. I don't need two, so. I'll keep these three for my booster art. We'll crack this one open, and I guess I'm gonna have to buy another deck box so you guys can get a taste of forbidden light forbidden goodness it's really annoying to buy uh these singularly but you gotta do what you gotta do so it's four to the front We've got energy car we got heliolisk floet poipol ultra beast these things didn't really get too popular with the um that brand Ultra Beast, but nevertheless, Flabebe, Gibble, we got Cloncha, we got Noibat, Pancham, Reverse Espa, and can we get something? Pangoro Regular Rare. Not bad artwork on that. Too bad we didn't get something really cool from it. Forbidden Light. Check this open. This set has 131 cards in it, 15 Secret Rare. And I guess the go-to card would be the Unit Energy Gold card, which I believe I have in my collection already. And I guess one of these days I'm gonna have to show you guys my entire binder collection. I've got, I don't know, 10 plus binders. Here is the code card. I think you get something good out of these um, pre-release codes. So you got one, two, three. Oh no, don't need to do that. Haha, <laughs> got used to it. So here's the Forbidden Light Malamar. 
and I believe there is four unique foil promo cards in deck boxes in general. So maybe I'll have a picture up for you guys. And I think these are just helping people play the game. So I don't really play the game, but Scatterbug. So as you can see, it's kind of like old school decks where you have multiples of cards. That's a rare, by the way, Vivillion. Mysterious Treasure. Yeah, a lot of trainer cards because the support of trainer cards really help when you play online or you know you're playing oh there's a another rare melma i think different deck boxes have different cards but not entirely different you'll have very similar kind of stuff Ooh, and that's it rightio so gonna have to chase this other forbidden light boost pack i think it's a greninja that i'm missing um i think someone was selling that i'll go check on ebay now <laughs> Um, we got Ultra Prism, that's probably a good find. I paid like, I think 35 or 45 for that art set. Generations is definitely a great set if you are thinking of collecting um, sealed product of that or even just collecting the cards. The cards are beautiful. I'll show them again just because, you know, damn, that Pikachu is so good. And just that theme of that Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, that growing up boy and the evolution line. That's just what Generations is all about. But otherwise, guys, that's all I have for today. Um, it's my birthday coming up. So I have a birthday video planned up. So look forward to that. And um, don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Comment whatever you want as well. Comment, yeah. All right, see ya.